All right, so if you've got a two or a three tier shade, first thing you're gonna to put together is the top and the bottom smaller diameter tiers. Um, so we'll show you how to put those together first. Uh, first thing you're gonna to need to do is grab the thinner pieces of fiberglass, and some of them have, will have a pattern printed on the front. Um, some of them are just plain colored fiberglass, whatever you ordered. Um, what you wanna do is flip it face down. You can kind of see that the material wants to fold one way more than it wants to fold the other way, and you can, you'll be able to see that um, when you have it in front of you. But you want to flip it face down, and you want to start with your top ring. Um, there is a seam on the top ring where it's welded together. I always like to reference that for the back of the shade. I always like to keep that in the back through the whole process. That way everything stays lined up really nicely. Um, so what you want to do is lay your piece of fiberglass with the holes hanging off the edge of your table a little bit. Um, and then you take the center of the back of your shade, start on the very end of the fiberglass, and roll it over to the first support, and that's where you kind of want to start. So you let it hang off um, like that. And then grab a piece of your lacing, doesn't matter which piece, they're all the same length. Uh, they're all too long anyway, you're going to trim them no matter what. Um, and here's where the tape comes in. Take a little piece of tape, a little short little piece, about six to eight inches from the end of the piece of lace, stick it on there, and this is going to be so you don't pull it through while you're lacing. And then about three holes from the very end, you want to come up through the bottom until the tape hits, and then around and up through the bottom again, every time going around the frame. And you want to make sure that you're, you don't have to keep it really tight, but make sure if you keep it too loose, you'll get little knots and it'll be harder to put it through. Uh, but you can go about that far and then you're like, oh, the holes are getting kind of far away. So what you do is you pick up the material and kind of hold it in your thumb so you can support it. And then you keep going around the same way. And don't worry about getting tight or pulling it too tight because you're going to have lots of opportunities to, to take the slack out later. But take your time, make sure it's not getting twisted as you go around. This can be kind of frustrating for some people because you do kind of have to hold it while you lace. And you want to get about three quarters of the way around. You don't have to go all the way to the very end. So I go to about there. And then you can set it down and it kind of stays up by itself. And you want to just kind of pull the slack out, not, I'm not pulling it tight, I'm just making it so I have enough lacing to get to the end. Um, so once we get to there, and then we just finish lacing all the way around. And we get to the very end, the two pieces are going to overlap like half an inch. So you want to make sure you pull them together so the holes line up and then lace through two both panels until you get to the very end hole. Then it's, it's still loose. So at this point, you want to make sure the tape is tight so it doesn't pull through. And then I'm not pulling super tight, but I'm taking the slack out and you can feel the material stretching just a little bit. So you want to go through, take the slack out all the way around. Once you get the slack all the way out, you can pull the piece of tape off, stick it to your table or wherever, throw it away. And then you're just going to do three little basic knots. The first two will just kind of be to hold it tight. And then a third one locks it in. And then once you've got the little tails, just clip them off about half an inch from the end. And you've got the first portion of the thing. I'll be right back with the second part.